Hi, my name is Yulay Shamiloglu. I'm chair of the Department of Kazakh Language and Turkic Studies, and this is a brief overview of the Kazakh language requirement. Biz Kazakh tilin kormetteymiz, Kazakh tilinin gılım tili boluğun koldaymız, jene Kazakh tilinin abroyun köteremiz. So the Department of Kazakh Language and Turkic Studies is committed to honoring the Kazakh language, supporting the Kazakh language as a language of science, and raising its prestige. We are committed to promoting academic excellence in Kazakh language and Kazakh studies at the highest international level. The new Kazakh language policy adopted on June 26, 2019 replaces the earlier Kazakh language policy. The earlier Kazakh language policy required only two courses, so six credits, Carnegie, 12 credits, ECTS, without specifying the level. We have introduced a new curriculum and we have introduced uh, requirements based upon the student's background and upon their degree, whether BA or non-BA. All students are required to take two cause courses, six credits, so three credits apiece, offered by the Department of Kazakh Language and Turkic Studies. Kaz LT has introduced a new sequence entitled Kaz 201, Kaz 202, which is academic Kazakh 1 and 2. Some students will be required to take courses at the advanced level, so 300 level. Uh, courses, and I will explain that. Uh, the requirements explained in this presentation apply to undergraduates matriculating at NU beginning August 2019. Students who matriculated before August 2019 are grandfathered under the old rules and are simply required to take two cause courses without specification of the level required. There used to be very, very simple, uh, easy courses offered on Kazakh. We no longer offer those courses. There are two factors which will determine what Kazakh language courses you take. One of them is whether you're BA or non-BA, and we'll get to that later. The other thing is placement. So every student has assigned to him or her a Kazakh language level. So if you went to a non-Kazakh language high school, or they're often called you know, Kazakh Toba, Oris Toba. So if you were in a school in a Kazakh language track, uh, then we place you directly into cause courses, which are uh, 300 uh, level or higher courses. If you graduated from a non-Kazakh language track, a Russian track, there, there are uh, Uzbek uh, school students that I've met, there may be others as well. We ask you to take the Kazakh language placement test or KLPT, which is administered through Moodle each August. And we also offer it at various other times, such as uh, December, and we offer it sometimes in the summer too, please make sure that you take this exam. If you went to um, uh, a different uh, language high school, such as Uzbek uh, or others, I don't know exactly what exists. So if it is a Turkic language related to Kazakh, uh, we, will, we may place you on a case-by-case -case basis. We don't have an established policy for that. Now, if you have no background in Kazakh language whatsoever, because you grew up in Malta, for example, or you grew up in the United States, or you grew up in Australia, and you were not exposed to Kazakh language at all, then we have a new uh, KFL, Kazakh is a foreign language track. So beginning with KFL 101, elementary Kazakh is a foreign language. This is sometimes taught in the summer. We're trying to teach the first and second year course every summer. And this year it was taught at, uh, in the fall and spring. Uh, there's no guarantee we can offer it fall and spring uh, as well, but as Nazarbayev University wants to go towards 10% international students, including at the undergraduate level, chances are very good that we will have to do that. There are two international scales for referring to levels of language competence. Uh, the American Actville scale is uh, in brackets below, and the first uh, ABC uh, designations refer to the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, or CEFR. And so the, this corresponds to the levels uh, at the beginning for COS 201, COS 202, and 300 level Kazakh uh, courses. Republic of Kazakhstan standards are for high school graduates to be at the B2 level. That's for students whose native language is not Kazakh, for example. Um, though uh, anybody who grew up in the Republic of Kazakhstan is considered to be a heritage speaker. Uh, of course, uh, students who went to Kazakh language schools are automatically placed at 300 level courses. 
as I mentioned previously, uh, all NU students are assigned a Kazakh language level based upon their high school background and or their performance on the KLPT or Kazakh language placement test. And so uh, on the left column, we see that for students who have absolutely no background, who are uh, novices at the A1 level, we have a series of Kazakh as a foreign language courses. For students who do not meet the standards or expectations for uh, academic Kazakh 1, uh, we offer Kaz 150, which is basic Kazakh. And for in order to uh, uh, be allowed to take that, your designation needs to be A2 basic. That's higher than the novice or which is A1 elementary. If your placement is uh, B1.2 intermediate, you're placed into uh, academic Kazakh 1. If your NU placement level is B2.2 upper intermediate, you're placed into Kazakh um, uh, 202. We also have, for students who have successfully completed Kaz 202, we sometimes try to offer Kaz 211 and Kaz 212, uh, and, but that will not meet your requirement for a 300 level course. Uh, for students whose placement is C 1.1 advanced, so it, it, then you would be placed into 300 level courses. Of course, once you complete COS 202, you're able to take a 300 level course. In the past, student levels did not include A1, A2, B1.2, B2.2, C1.1. We added that when we renamed the levels last year uh, in order to uh, match the, the CEPHR standards. This is about uh, COS 150 basic Kazakh. Republic of Kazakhstan standards are for high school graduates to be at the B2 level when they graduate. We recognize that some students entering NU are below the B2 level on the basis of the Kazakh language placement test, which is why COS 201 starts out at the B1.2 level. We also recognize that some students are placed at uh, A2 or B1.1 and they are not prepared for COS 201. And this is uh, based upon the placement and sometimes uh, a student is enrolled in in cause 201 and the instructor says look you're not going to be able to pass this course so for these students uh, we offer cause 150 basic kazakh in the summer uh, and we would like you to take this as soon as possible uh, if it's possible before your freshman year or if not then take it after your freshman year the reason is that it will not count as in almost all cases it will not count as part of the two courses you're required to take and so it would be an extra remedial course uh, that you're taking. And for students in some of the schools, such as engineering or there's the nursing program, they have only a limited amount of time in their four year program to take uh, Kazakh language courses. And so they don't have the luxury of taking three courses. And that's one of the reasons we started to offer that in the summer. And students in some programs are encouraged to complete the Kazakh language requirement in their first year. Beginning in summer 2021, so this summer, this updated course is offered as a flipped, partially asynchronous online course for as many students as are required to take it in order to progress to COS 201, academic COS, Kazakh 1. You don't have to be on campus even. For students who entered NU in August 2019 or later, COS 150 basic Kazakh does not count towards the six credits or 12 ECTS you are required to take by the new Kazakh language policy. As far as I understand, there's only one possible exception to this, and I'll get to that later. So uh, requ requirements uh, for uh, the Kazakh language uh, vary according to your degree program. So in this regard, we have two categories. One is non-BA. So that would be students in SSH who are majors in biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics, students in the School of Engineering and Digital Sciences, or in the School of Medicine, or the School of Mining and Geosciences. The BA requirements apply to all humanities and social science majors in SSH, including economics, history, philosophy, and religious studies, languages, linguistics, and literatures, political science and international relations, and sociology and anthropology. For graduates of high schools in the Republic of Kazakhstan, if you're non-BA, if you placed into Kazakh 201, so if your level is intermediate, 
uh, you must complete uh, two courses, including COS 202. Uh, so you can't go into COS 202 unless you complete COS 201. If you place directly into COS 202, then afterwards you may take a second course. You must take a second course, which may be a 300 level Kazakh course. Uh, students placed at the C level, or means automatically those who finished uh, Kazakh uh, language schools, must take two courses at the advanced level, at the 300 level. If you are a BA student, if you placed into COS 201, you must complete COS 202 and one additional 300 level Kazakh course. Fortunately, students in the humanities and social sciences have far more flexible uh, curricula, and so you have plenty of time to take that additional COS course. If you place directly into COS 202, afterwards you must take a 300 level uh, Kazakh course. And if you were placed at the C level, for example, because you uh, are a graduate of a Kazakh language school, uh, school you must complete two COS courses at the 300 level. Uh, note, we also offer when faculty are available COS 211, uh, 211 academic speaking in Kazakh and COS 212 academic writing in Kazakh for students needing additional support. Uh, we prefer not to offer this to all students. We prefer that you, uh, the teacher recommend that you do additional work uh, for those who are non-BA and have completed COS 202 and need a second course. If one of these courses is available, you may take it. Uh, in the future, I don't know how easy it will be for us to continue offering this, and you certainly cannot take both. It's either one or the other if you take it. This applies to graduates of high schools located outside of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Uh, for those non-BA track students, if you were placed at the A2 or B level, you must complete two courses, including COS 201. If you place directly into COS 202, uh, you may take a COS course at the 300 level. Students placed at the C uh, level must take two COS courses at the 300 level. Note that if you placed at the A2 or B level, um, B1 level, you'll be taking COS 150 basic Kazakh, and then afterwards COS 201. The way I read the requirements, uh, that would satisfy the requirement, but there's going to be very few uh, heritage speakers of Kazakh who uh, graduated from high schools outside uh, Kazakhstan. For those students who are BA track students, if you placed at the A2 or B level, you must complete two courses, including COS 202, and students placed at the C level must take two COS courses at the 300 level, and the same uh, issues, uh, caveats regarding COS 211 and COS 212 uh, apply to you as well, in, namely that uh, you can only take one of them. We prefer that it's upon the recommendation of your teacher because you need additional work. And uh, I can't guarantee that it will always be offered. For students with no prior background in Kazakh who are not heritage speakers, if you're non-BA, you're required to th complete the third semester, KFL 201, Intermediate Kazakh as a Foreign Language 1. If you are BA, you're required to complete Kazakh as a foreign language 202, intermediate Kazakh as a foreign language. This will apply to um, international students. We have also had issues of, or examples of students who grow up in Australia and grandma spoke to them in Russian and they don't know a word of Kazakh. Uh, we've had other examples of students from Italy. Uh, and I'm glad that we introduced this track because uh, in the past in trying to uh, give uh, exams to students like this, or the only result was to make them cry. Finally, some words of advice. If you have not taken the KLPT or been assigned a Kazakh language level, you should contact me or Saula Musabekova as soon as possible. Second, please do not postpone taking Kazakh courses until your fourth year because some students feel that their knowledge of Kazakh declines over their first three years of study at NU. I feel very bad about that. Um, please take advantage of Kazakh courses the Shirak Club, and other opportunities to practice and improve your Kazakh. And if you have questions about your Kazakh language level, you may also contact Saula Musabekova at uh, smusabekova at nu.edu.kz. Before I say goodbye, if you think your placement is incorrect and you would like to request a change in your Kazakh language level, please contact Saula Musabekova about this too at smusabekova at nu.edu.kz. If, 
after Saul and Musa Bekava has reviewed your case, you still have a disagreement with your placement, please contact me at uli.shamiloglu at nu.edu.kz and I will ask the Causality Academic Appeals Committee to review your case. Remember, if you misrepresent your previous Kazakh language academic record or history of courses you took before NU in Kazakh language or about Kazakh language, or underperform on the KLPT intentionally, we reserve the right to report you for academic misconduct. Thank you. Nazar Audarvanunuz Ishin Rahmet. This is my contact information if you'd like to write me. If you need to get other contact information, just drop me a line.